we had the, the script count sum that got as input a file with where each line was a number and counted how much the total sum of the numbers. We need to take that script and add some more statistics, minimum, maximum and average. And there are a couple of more uh, possibilities, but we don't go in there. So let's switch to this window and open the count sum script. Now if we switch to, to the last window and I can run Perl count sum, it will print out 126. So let's start with the average. For the average we need the total divided by, by the number of elements. So we need to count how many lines we encounter. For that I create a counter, counter, which we set zero. At the beginning we have zero lines. And then here, inside, every time we read a new line, we set the counter to one more. I can do it this plus equal one, or the best way is just to plus plus. So every time I encounter a line, we print out. We add, add one to the counter, and then here we can print out, print, let's print count is counter right and then the average here print average and then we print it out the sum divided by counter so let's go and run this script and uh, this is what we got. So we had six elements and then this is a total and this is a division is 21. Well, luckily this is a whole number. So that's about the average. How can we uh, calculate the minimum and the maximum? So for that we are going to have a variable called minimum. And then let's see the code here, what we need to do. So assume that you already have a minimum value. Then, when you encounter a new value, a line, in the line there is a new, new value. Now you have to check whether this is smaller than minimum. If it's smaller, then we have to replace the minimum value. So now, if we found a, new, a, low, a lower number, then the minimum, that's a, that's a new minimum. And that's it, basically. So when we encounter a number which is smaller than the current minimum, we said that the new number is the current minimum. That's the way. But how do we store this? So for this we need a minimum variable, right? Minimum min. But what do we put here? If I put zero, that's not good because if every number is positive, like let's say our numbers are two, three, and four, then this will never happen. So we'll never assign any value to minimum. So th in the end, minimum will be zero, which is incorrect because minimum is two in our case in that case so we can't start it with zero or even if we do what we need to do is at the first time when, the, when we go, get to the first line we don't have to check what is there so a better approach probably is to not put any value in min then it will be just undef and then here inside the code say that if we are in, this, in the first line, so if this is counter equals to 1, if we are on the first line, then just assign that value. So just put in, in the minimum, put in the current line. Regardless of what was in minimum, or actually because we know that in minimum we have undef. And then, that's it. So when the first time we come here, when the first time we go to this loop, we notice that we, we just assign that line, and then we go on and check this again, but that's not, not relevant because, because these are just the same values in this case. So let's now print it out. Print minimum. And run the script. And that's it. Minus 17. And let's now prepare the maximum, which is needs quite similar. So I define max, mac, not mac, it's a max. And then I'll do the same. So 
first of all I don't need to, to put this condition again here in this place I can set maximum to the same value so when we encounter the first line both the minimum and the maximum are the same value the current first line but then the condition here is different so here we can have to say that if the current line is larger than maximum then put that into the menu, into the max and that's it and then I can print out the minimum and let's say I print out the maximum just here and if I run the script this is what I get minimum 17 maximum 98 and uh, well it has a new line here you see this is it's got into the new line and some spaces so why is that it's because again because you haven't chomped the values so if you want to make it cleaner maybe then start by chomping the line and then if I run the script again then now we got the same result except that now the minimum and the maximum are on the same row as we wanted so just to, let's go back and uh, let's see what is in the file this is the content of the file so the minimum is really seven min minus 17 the biggest one is really 91 and the eight sorry so that's it that's our script here